to Youth in Action, where young people are doing immense work to bring change into society. In today's program, we have Farida Sat, the director of Winam Child Without Limit. Quite an interesting title. Let's hear more. Farida, Karibu Sana to Youth in Action. Mm -hmm. Tell us a bit about yourself. What is it that you do? Okay. I'm Farida Sat uh, from Winam Child Without Limit. I'm a teacher, special needs teacher. I'm a psychologist and I'm a functional assessor. These are people who assess children from the ER center and place them in schools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I do that much. And I'm also the director and founder of Winam Child Without Limits. Mm -hmm. Currently founder of Autism Center called Winam Autism Center. I'm a passionate person about disability. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about Winam Child Without Limit. What is it about and what do you do there? Winam Child Without Limit is a young organization that uh, was brought about in support of uh, parents or caregivers of uh, special needs kids and kids who are going through special needs issues. Uh, we are based in Mambuleo, that is where our office used to be. Currently we have moved to Tom Boyer, that is where we support parents from. We work in Kisumu County, that, uh, that is how we are registered to work in Kisumu County. But uh, currently we focus within the, the town, we have not moved outside uh, because of some reasons here or there, but we support all the parents from those who call to those who visit, yeah. And so what inspired you to do this kind of work? The inspiration came about uh, when I was volunteering. After my attachment in Joyland Assessment Center, mm -hmm. I decided to volunteer there from 2017. Then uh, being that after assessment, children needs to be followed up and checked how they are going in school. Being that the work is too much in the assessment center, sometimes they don't find time to visit and follow up. So I offered myself to be doing that, following up and supporting the parents. I created a WhatsApp group mm -hmm. to follow up on this with the parents. But now I got so interested so much on autism because I realized it's like a forgotten area. Yeah, but we support all the parents and uh, the inspiration came from the fact that children are taken to school and left with the school. Okay. Yes. Oh. You, you focus more on autism. Is there a specific reason where you decided instead of this other kind of special need, I will choose autism? One thing that pushed me on autism is the fact that uh, Autism is the only thing that does not have a school in Kisumu County. It's the only disability that does not have a school in Kisumu County mm -hmm. because the government feels that they should be included. But even as the inclusion come in, some of the kids who are autistic don't benefit so much from inclusion. Mm -hmm. Though we just encourage that they are included for socialization so much. So you find that physical disability, they have a school, MH have a school, HI, they have a school, and uh, the visually impaired also have a school in Kisumu County, but not autism. Yeah, so that is why I, I found myself just getting interested and focusing on autism. And again, it's something that many people don't know about. Autism, what is this autism? Yeah, so it touched us and uh, I realized that a, a more awareness should be created okay. in our county and uh, as a whole in Western region. You've talked about MH, HI, 
Uh, what are those? Okay, HMH means mentally handicapped school. Those are intellectually disabled kids. Mm. HI is hearing impairment schools. Okay. Yeah, we have all of them in Kisumu. We have a Lutheran school for the mentally handicapped. We have uh, hearing impairment school. That is Maseno school. Mm. For the, yeah. Wow. Yes. And so what kind of activities do you do at Winam Child Without Limit? At Winam Child Without Limit, we have uh, four main thematic areas. That is uh, assessment, placement, and follow-ups for children with special needs and their parents. Mm -hmm. We follow up on them. We also do psychological support and counseling for the same parents. We create awareness. Uh, on disabilities and we also do positivity in living. This means we encourage the society as a whole to live positive with persons with disability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. And disability has attracted much sensitization and awareness over time, but uh, in your profile you still say that they are, the people living with disability are still marginalized. Could you talk more about that? This is because, like, uh, when some of them are still categorized as curses in families. So that is why we say that they are still marginalized. And again, like, autism is very difficult. And people don't understand it so well. So even when they assume they are in the hospital, Nobody understands that uh, they are autistic. Many people will say that they are brought up, they are not well brought up. Yeah, so that is the reason why we saw it and we think that marginalization is still there and people uh, living with disability and their families are still neglected, okay. yes. You speak of people not understanding what autism is. So can you tell us what is autism spectrum disorder and how should we understand it as a community? Autism spectrum disorder is an inclusive name for disabilities, mm -hmm. different disabilities. It is a spectrum. It is something that brings other disabilities with the, within one. Mm -hmm. So autism happens to be one of them. It's uh, a neurological disability that affects most of socialization and communication in a child. Okay. Yeah, and uh, many, when uh, you meet an autistic child who is also having hyperactivity, ADHD, attention deficit and uh, hyperactivity disorder, it is not easy to understand them because they will be jumpy, destructive and not talking. So, as a new person, you will think that the child is not brought up well, mm -hmm. while the child is on the spectrum. Okay. The spectrum here means they behave differently. Each autistic child behaves differently. And whatever works for one autistic child, there is no surety that it will work for the other. Okay. Every, each, each and every one of them should be treated differently. Yes, that is why it is a, a spectrum. And it is a lifelong condition. It is not a disease. It cannot be, uh, it is not an hairborne thing that people can get from talking or socializing. Mm -hmm. It is a condition and a lifelong one. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, who do you aim to target with your message on autism spectrum disorder? My, my, my aim is the society everybody should know about autism because once the society knows about it it will be easier for the autistic parents autistic caregivers mm -hmm. autistic family mm -hmm. to walk this journey easily you know when uh, example when hiv came up mm -hmm. it was so difficult and everybody uh, felt that it is a disease that can be just begotten even by talking with the person who is HIV positive. But through awareness and support, it is something that currently everybody lives com comfortable with. Mm -hmm. 
that is what should happen with autism. It is not airborne. It is just a condition that when awareness is created well, everybody will understand. And even if you meet an autistic child, you will not say they are mad. Autistic adults, when trained well from childhood, can work like me and you, mm -hmm. can work regularly like anybody. But because they are not trained, they are neglected, most of them are in closed doors, awareness should help on this. Okay. Yes. Nice. Speaking of awareness, uh, in 2022, the first World Autism Awareness Day was held in Kisumu County. And I believe you were part of that journey. Tell us how it was. It was a challenging journey, but we thank God it happened. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we thought it wise, being that it, it is the first organization that have thought about autism uh, strongly. Mm -hmm. So we thought that uh, maybe holding this day and celebrating autistic persons in Kisumu for the first time will encourage people to start and getting interested in knowing what autism really is. Mm -hmm. So it was a challenge, it, uh, but people came up and supported, especially the county government, health department. They gave us a chance to do the, the awareness yes, and sensitization in the hospitals. Mm -hmm. We did that in five sub-county hospitals with their support and the National Council for Persons with Disability Support. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we tried and got attention of a few people, but mm -hmm. we believe that this year will be different. Oh, so yeah. you're planning to do another one this year? Exactly. We, 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 we would wish that it, it happens every year, just the way it is celebrated in Nairobi and any other area. Mm -hmm. Autism should be and must be celebrated even in Kisumu County, mm -hmm. so that everybody should know. Like when we did that in 2022, everybody, the bystanders, by standards were asking, what is this autism? Mm -hmm. What is this? So it should be something that everybody knows, so that uh, even when we celebrate it, everybody should be interested, interested to yeah. come and celebrate and see the kids. Mm -hmm. Because in 2022, we have one of the kids there mm -hmm. who was uh, trying to sing, and the other was just attended with their families, okay. yeah. And what kind of aid do you offer as an organization to maybe parents with kids uh, who have autism, ETC? Uh, what we, we do so much is, one, mm -hmm. after these kids are uh, admitted in schools, we follow up, we follow up the kids in these schools, we help the teachers, to walk the journey with the kids because even the teachers get overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. One hyperactive autistic kid is not easy to manage. Assume you want to manage the, the one hyperactive autistic kid plus other regular kids and your one teacher. So we walk with them, we encourage them, we visit these schools to see the progress of these kids. Some of them joined when they could not do anything. Currently, they can write, mm -hmm. which is an achievement to, 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 to us. Mm -hmm. Some of them joined when they could not sit in class. Currently, they can sit and follow the routine well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, we support the kids through education uh, visits and uh, support on the teachers. Mm -hmm. Then we also do psychosocial support for the parents. We meet with the parents mm -hmm. every month to discuss their journey and to work with them. Sometimes we invite psychologists to talk to them and guide them on how to manage their stress and trauma. And uh, it has been a journey with them. Those who have uh, at least accepted and able to walk this journey are very comfortable talking about their kids and autism, mm -hmm. which is a plus to us. As an organization, we also managed in 2022 to 
bring one of the children to participate in Mr. and Miss Kenya, wow. Kisumu County, mm -hmm. which was also a plus to us. We are happy that the organizers, which is Angels of Sunset organization, mm -hmm. accepted to register one of us. And uh, she participated, and it was a plus to us to bring autism to light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we try to connect them with any agency, any organization, any school that can support autism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Speaking of bringing uh, autism to light, have you seen any significant change since you started doing this work until now? Exactly. We've seen a lot of changes, a lot of connections. Mm -hmm. Many parents are currently coming out to ask, what should I do? How should I do this? Mm -hmm. And we connect them with many people. It has been a great journey because we, we see that many parents are coming out currently to walk the journey and to take their kids to school, which was not there before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And uh, do you have people supporting your movement or partners that you're working with at Winam Child with Ultra Limit? Okay, we, we have, uh, currently I have uh, volunteers that I work with. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have any funding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we use our personal funds to, to walk the journey with the parents. Wherever we need any support, we have to, what needs financial support, we have to dig deep into our own pockets mm -hmm. and support what is needed. But uh, we believe that we will get support. But in uh, awareness, I think the Department of Health mm -hmm. has really come handy to help us in creating awareness. Mm -hmm. Yes. What kinds of challenges have you encountered doing this work, or how have you gone about it? Challenges are a lot. You, there is no journey that can be walked without a challenge, mm -hmm. and challenges are, needs to make you strong. First is uh, acceptance from the parents. It's not easy to accept that. You, I, any other disability, like physical, it's easy because you see, mm. you will not deny. Autism being a neurological thing is not easy because some of them just seems very okay. But they have autistic characteristics. So to bring the parent to understand and accept that my child is autistic, mm -hmm. it is a journey. And some of them you find that they insist that my child has to be in a regular school, my child has to write, my child has to read, which to some autistic kids, it's not easy for them to do those things. But it's a journey we are working with them. It's a big challenge for acceptance. Okay. And we understand that acceptance is not easy to everybody. The second challenge is maybe the financial constraints, because sometimes we feel that we need a place for them, so that when they are brought there, they can do what they are interested in, not what we are interested in. Yeah, it has been a challenge. Then another challenge is the just the societal, I think societal unawareness. Okay. People are not aware that autism exists. You find a parent going to the hospital and everybody just wonders, we were melelewa aji, mm. things like that, mm. which to the parent, it's an attack. So if it's possible that the society could understand that autism is a condition and it's a difficult journey to the autistic parents or autistic caregiver, it can be an easier journey than it is today. Yeah. Apart from society, how has your, uh, have your friends and family taken the kind of work that you do? Okay, there are some who are okay, there are some who are not okay, mm -hmm. because everybody will say that these things, easy to be a kwanza to utaweza, things like that, which, which is normal. But again, my family has been supportive, my husband has been very supportive, because he, he knows that it is a passion we yeah, have been dealing with from 2017. I got interested, he has been supportive, my mom has been supportive. Uh, my friends, 
some of them are supportive, some are not. Yeah, so the ones who are supportive are walking the journey with me. They can sometimes support also. When I call for financial support, they can also support. They can also volunteer at times. Yeah. Where do you plan to take Winam Child Without Limit in the near future? Okay, the dream of Winam is to have a, a, an autistic model or a model that can accommodate special needs child. Mm -hmm. That when they come in, they can be nurtured overly. We will not wish to see a child coming out of a primary school mm -hmm. without any skill. So the dream of Winam is to have a model where if a child comes out, mm -hmm. they have something in hand, mm -hmm. be it uh, carpentry, be it beauty, be it electronics, be it engineering, because we believe that most autistic kids are very bright. The only challenge is tapping on, the, on their skills. Okay. Yeah, if they are in regular schools, they don't fit because uh, they don't understand why, why do I need to write. Mm -hmm. But you will find one building blocks. When you just look at why the child is building blocks, you might find that the child is interested in building or construction. Mm -hmm. So you tap on that. You don't fix them to do what you want them to do. So the dream of Vietnam Child Without Limit is to have a model that can hold all the children with special needs, especially autistic child. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, hearing you speak of autism, there might be a parent out there who needs help with an autistic child. How can they find you? Currently we are situated in Tom Boyer and we are trying to come up with a, an autistic center where only autistic kids will come in for support. We have started admitting a few mm -hmm. for this support to guide the parents on what to do with their autistic kids. Mm -hmm. We are situated in Tomboya, next to former women's reps, reps office. Uh, some of them can reach us through our office number, which is 0728-840-956. And they will be guided on what to do or how to reach us. Yeah. yeah. You're doing such amazing work and impactful work. There may be a young person out there who wants to start something but they do not know how to do it. What can you tell them? Everything we do is a journey. What we need to encourage to be encouraged with is that we need to start. Starting is the challenge. Mm -hmm. If you are interested in doing something, just make a step of starting. Once you make a step of starting, you will walk the journey. Mm -hmm. Those who still don't know might come to our organization to volunteer so that they know mm -hmm. how the journey can be walked. Thank you so much, Farida. We have learned a lot about autism and I personally will take this into consideration. You have heard it. Autism is not a curse. It is a disorder that needs understanding and much care. For a young person who needs to start something, as she has said, it is about starting. When you start, you will get the follow through to go on with your plans. This has been Youth in Action. I am Yangweso Grenis. See you next time. This is the way to do it. This is the way to do it. This is the way.